most of us have been trading since the open yesterday. Tax reform passed over the weekend, so we're trying to buy some dollars here. Uh, here's the CAD chart. Dollar CAD opened at the figure. Gap up, like all the dollars, they all gapped. I'm now trading around 17. We're not too focused on dollar CAD. Just happen to be on that chart for now. Let's let's go to dollar yen. Very important. Uh, the first price paid in the pre-open was 40 in dollar yen. Traded up to 98. Uh, since Tokyo's been in, we've been here at 89. We're we're long a few dollars already. We're going to be buying again through the figure. This, I think, is very important. We have the tax repatriation. We think the tax is done. The changes between Senate and House are so small that we're just assuming this is done. Um, so we're pushing our chips in on this dollar long trade. We're adding through the figure. Um, you know, we think this is going to 115, probably a bit higher. So let's see. Euro is a bit of the same story. The gap down, I think we opened at 63. We printed a 50 low uh, in the pre open, 59 or 56 low. Since then, we will be adding uh, euros through 50. Dollar Swiss was too illiquid for us to get any dollars. Looks like we're going to be chasing this one. I don't really know what to do with dollar Swiss. It's so difficult to trade anyway. Maybe we just skip it for now. See what happens if we can get some sort of technical setup here at 9883. Um, but dollar Swiss and dollar yen should be the big, big beneficiaries of this. Just something to note. For all you correlation traders, you want to watch gold for its effect on dollar yen, or if you're just a gold trader, the 200 day moving average is 1267.50. It's been a while since we threw that, July to be exact. This will just be confirmation that we're onto something. Uh, you want to see rates higher and the dollar bid for this idea and this story that repatriation is going to bring inflation. We're not too concerned about the actual currency effect, whether people are, whether the US companies are going to take foreign currencies and turn into dollars. I don't think that's really the issue here. The issue here is that US rates are going to go higher uh, based on liquidation of bond portfolios and just based on general inflation. Uh, companies bringing this money back for stock buybacks, for R&D, maybe for hiring, that's up for grabs, but we feel like rates are going to go higher. And rates higher means dollar higher. Aussie, which went all the way up to 76.41 on the Trump news Friday. By the way, what a clusterfuck that was. Um, we still like being short Aussie. You know, of course, we got stopped out on that move uh, on Friday. We're looking to re-enter the Aussie anywhere around here between 90 and, and say, 15. And we'll be watching this 75.50 level very, very closely. Finally, equities through the roof the roof the roof is on fire how much this is all this repatriation and and lower tax bills have been priced in it's unclear um, I'm certainly not looking to short equities I'm also quite cautious about being long so I'm basically doing nothing but I can tell you this much Moved down to 2603. People got short. Longs capitulated. I didn't capitulate. Longs uh, could have easily taken profit on that. And this kind of vicious move back up has.
as one of my North American followers mentioned reminds it, us or reminded him a lot of the election where we all crushed stocks as soon as we saw that Trump was going to get elected and then at 12 noon your Central European time the march began the march higher by the way that was that was back 1950 S&P's I believe um, this smacks of that same type of move where people are trying to get rid of Trump but he just keeps denying, keeps lying, keeps doing whatever he's doing. Maybe he's telling the truth. It's not for me to say. Um, but this is going to catch some people. Just like the dollar trade as well. The moving dollar yen took out a lot of longs. Now all of a sudden we've made a new high. People don't have this and are going to be forced to chase. All right, that's it for now. It's going to be an exciting week, I have a feeling. Good luck with it, and we'll talk to you at the New York Open. Ciao.